Hello friends, welcome back to the channel and if you are new then welcome to the channel. If you don't know me then please subscribe to the channel because you will get to know about me. Simple. And what are we going to do in this video? As you have read the thumbnail, we are going to implement an automatic carousel using react.js that means the images are going to slide from left to right and from right to left according to the time given by us and one more thing i'm not going to use bootstrap for our project we are going to write our own code from a to z we are going to write our own logic how the image will shift from left to right and right to left so if you like this video then please click that like button and subscribe to my channel i mean your channel obviously so yeah let's get into it so let me show you how carousel looks like so i have already typed that so this is how carousel looks like you might have saw it and uh, here as you see bootstrap we are not going to use this we are going to write our own code so let's take two three uh, images from online and uh, we will store it in our uh, project but first we need to have the project right so what will i do i will open my vs code and uh, on the desktop i will create a project npm feed at latest and it will create a react project uh, something happened okay npm create wheat at latest and if you don't write latest then also it's fine and uh, it will ask us to give the name to the project so we will give carousel with react okay react and javascript now we are going to follow the steps cd carousel tab and then npm install or you can write npm i both are the same it will install the uh, npm packages in our project folder and uh, let's take some search some images in the browser because i love clouds i will search cloud pictures and we will take few pictures from here i'm um, first only i'm telling you we are going to have 10 images in this uh, carousel okay so i'm going to download this save as Uh, in this we are going to save let's create a um, new folder named as images and uh, we will store it over here image one and then uh, like this one So we will download it i'll quickly download some 10 images and i'll get back to you okay so as you can see over here that the packages are installed successfully and there is no vulnerabilities found okay whatever now what we will do is we will open the folder which is in desktop carousel with react and we are going to program our carousel so let's quickly start working with our project as i told you that uh, there will be 10 images so i downloaded all the images from online to be to use it in our carousel it would be better if i'll keep this inside src folder so it will be easy to access now let me show you uh, how is the initial look of wheat so I'll type npm run dev and it will quickly respond and it will open uh, our code in the browser. It is not like react, it doesn't take too much time. So if I press O, it will 
open it will open the project in the browser so this is the initial look wheat and react so it uses a um, you say this updated babel and uh, it is really quickly responsive uh, i mean it responds really fast so i do not need this index.js and i will remove the import from main js also and uh, i'll remove all the code from app.css and we will give some basic i link that padding will be zero margin will be zero and box sizing is border box uh, one more thing i want to have the background color as black as i can't see white screen for long time and the color to be white okay perfect now we will go inside the app.jsx and we will remove all this code because we don't need this and we will type react over here now in this we will have react.fragment react.fragment means it is just like div where uh, um, everything should be put inside one component uh, one element so that's how react.fragment works uh, it is not a div but it acts like a div uh, better than div so in this we are going to have a div with carousel container class and uh, inside of this we will have uh, image images container and inside of this we will have so many images with class image and uh, inside of this we will have image with source and we will import it like image one and this is the image one i'll have to import it the image image one from images and that is image one dot jpg and similarly we will import every images like this so two three four i'll quickly change this and i'll get back to you so i have changed the names of the images but these extensions uh, till 7 we have jpg after that in 8 we have avif and 9th is also jpg and 10th is also jpg perfect now what will i do is i will copy this 9 times 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so i guess we have 10 so it will be 2 and then 3 in the same manner again I will change and I will quickly so I have done the changes now we are having 10 images on our screen uh, as I have not given the styling uh, it is looking like this so as you can see we have 10 images and uh, after giving styling we can see it clearly so let's go to the styling part and uh, this app.css is linked right okay it is linked so what we will select we will select the carousel container first and we will give some 
width and height to this 100% let's give 100 volume height and 100 volume width and uh, overflow will be hidden overflow hidden now inside this we have image container so the image container will have 100% width and 100% height okay 100% height and we will give display of flex and the flex the direction will be row now let's see what happened so uh, you cannot scroll okay because i gave overflow as hidden so now what will i do is i will select the image inside the image container so image containers dot image and the width will be 100 percent and the height will be 100 percent and uh, overflow not overflow object fit will be cover uh, am i able to see any changes no why I programmed it correctly now. The image container. Ah, right. The image inside the dot image will have this styling. Perfect. So, as you can see, there are all the images on the single screen with. Uh, proper width uh, equal width but what here i will do is i will give a width of 1000 to this image container and 100 to this one image and the image inside the dot image will have 100 percent only so we did this now how our logic is going to work here i will add one more class that is image one now let's try something let's do an experiment first i'll write style and we will give margin left of minus 10 percent what did just happen see the image got slided and i'm getting some glitch in this um, okay are we having 10 images properly 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 okay we are having 10, 10 images in this but let me see and fix what has happened uh, but let's see if i put 20 percent what happens something is happening if i put zero then it will be at zero only okay here i did the mistake that if the image container is having 1000 percent width then one image should have 10 percent of width because 1000 divided by 10 is 100 percent so each dot image will have 100 percent width so now we will play with it we will write 10 percent so the next image entire next image came on the screen now let's put 20 so the next entire image came on the screen let's put 30 next image came on the screen so you got the point right the image is getting shifted towards the left side and the right image which is on the right side is getting onto the screen so that's how it's working now what will i do is i will run a set timeout with a loop 
I will increment this uh, margin according to the count of the image. I will give some count and according to the count the margin will increase and the image will get slided according to the count. So how we can build that? Let's see. See how we are going to work with the logic. First of all, we are going to have a count. So we are going to use a uh, React hooks, which is user state hook. So I will initialize the count as const count and set count. This is equals to user state and the initial value of the count will be zero. <coughs> One more thing that we need is margin to shift the image okay so we will again initialize margin over here and set margin this is equals to user state initially it will be at zero percent one more thing i need is const forward is it uh, the image is going from uh, left to right or from right to left that thing i want then I will set forward then this is equals to use state to true so initially it will move from left to right and after that we will move the images from right to left so according to that we will uh, implement our logic uh, and uh, let's see how we can do that so as we are going to shift the image according to the count we need a function which will tell if the count is then if the count is a, a number then how much the shift of the margin should be so we will write a function of shift shift image and it will take the count and inside of this we will implement switch and it will accept count and if the count value is zero what we will do is we will set the margin to zero percent but as it is already initialized over here but let it be nothing happens so again if the case is one then how much the set margin should be it should be minus 10 percent and similarly for next cases if the case is two set margin should be minus 20 percent so i will just paste that code i will modify all this and i'll get back to you quickly so i wrote all the cases for the switch and uh, uh, we need just to, till the count reaches 9 and it will shift the entire uh, image collection to 90% and we are not going to shift uh, shift the collection of images to 100% because the last 10% will be empty there will be no image uh, if I try to explain you over here if I write 100 then there will be no image over here and if I put 90 then the last image will appear right you can see the last image let me uh, divide the screen into half so that you will be it will be easy to understand so as you can see if I put this to 100 no image if it is till 90 then the last image will appear so we need just the count till 9 now what will i do is we will implement for loop and along with set timeout so first we will check if the forward is true or not so write if forward then what to do if forward that means the image is going to be sliding from right to left and what we will do is we will initialize a for loop right a for loop and uh, the for loop 
will go from 0 to 10 and it will increment now if the this count is double equal to 10 or triple equal to 10 then what we will do is we will set forward to false that means the tarozel has reached the last image and it is not going to slide the image more and else what we will do is we will set the count to count plus one that means we are incrementing the count and we will shift the image by the updated count and third um, this should happen inside the set timeout function set timeout function and we will give a timing of one second so after one second it will first check that if count value is 10 or not it is not 10 it is 0 then it will increment the count to 1 and it will shift the image by 10% how 10% because shift image count count is 1 so 1 ka shift the margin to 10% and we will give margin over here as 10% so first of all let's log and check that is it working correctly or not so we will count uh, log the count value and let's see inside the console let's refresh 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 after that it should stop right it stopped now what we will do is we will pass this margin as the value to this margin left in the styling and let's refresh see what's hap what happens 1 2 3 you are able to see the next images right but it is not sliding because here we didn't give the transform if we will give transform transform or not transform transition transition all by 0 0.5 seconds is and let's refresh you will be able to see that the images are sliding so are you able to see let me decrease i mean increase the timing by one second and refresh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten right so isn't this beautiful actually we don't need this extra plus uh, i added this because while i was working in plain javascript i had to use that extra class for to give this margin okay. if i again refresh and show you the image will slide beautifully so that is how it works now as the image is getting slided from right to left now what we want is after reaching the last image what it should do is it should go again back to the first image but there will be one problem if I put the count equal to zero after reaching the last image the entire block of the images will get shaved to zero and that will not give a good look so that's why what we are doing is we are shifting the image again from left to right in the same manner how it got shifted from right to left so here we will write the else case and inside of this 
I'll copy this and it should reach to 10 until it is greater than 0 it should decrement and this should be minus 1 and this should be true perfect now if I refresh this this should be 0 right this should be 0 ok 1 2 3 4 6 7 8 9 again it should go back right it's going see how beautiful it is until it reaches the first image again it is going back from this from this left side to right side again it will go to right it's working fine so that's it for this project if you liked what i built in this project then please click that like button and subscribe to my channel if you like my efforts and yeah thanks for watching i'll see you in next video